Hey everybody, Daniel here with part two of a dime box recap from The Dugout in Prescott, Arizona. A card shop that I had never been to before, but uh, I had definitely picked up cards from the owners over the years because they come down to a monthly show in the Phoenix area. And uh, But this was the first time that I'd ever been to the shop up in Prescott, Arizona. Uh, I went through a pile about the size of these previously uh, in part one. So if you haven't seen that one, check it out. These are all a dime um, and actually a little bit less than a dime because I think there was probably around 225 and he charged me 20 bucks for all of these. So let's go through this stack um, and see what we got. <clears throat> all right mascot cards i love them um i'm trying to collect them all i've got a binder for them so i typically will pick them up at 10 cents a piece even if i don't have a checklist or or know specifically if i need it or not all right this these donruss cards this set it, it fascinates me there's like this was a high-end set back in the day. Um, this card is not the refractor. Okay, it's not a refractor. That's a term that Topps uses. But um, anyways, uh, these are cool cards. They're kind of printed on chromium stock. Uh, and they're from, I think, 98. Anyways, um, <clears throat> Madison Bumgarner, again, he does not have a lot of stuff, so I pick it up from a dime box anyways whenever I see it. A sweet Travis Lee gold medallion card. Uh, Topps gold label. Man, I know they've redone this product in recent years, but the original two or three years of this product were just fantastic. I mean, just awesome. Tim Salmon, Electric Diamond. So I'll see if I need that parallel. A Schmoltz and a Randy Johnson 89 score rookie. Hard to pass up Hall of Fame rookie cards at a dime. Couple more mascot cards. Again, not sure if I need them or not. Uh, it's one of the reasons why I really like the opening day product. And again, I'm not buying boxes. I'm not buying packs. Even stuff like this, I typically wouldn't buy boxes or packs of, of an opening day product. It doesn't mean I don't enjoy the set or the inserts, those sort of things. So. Um, I hope that Tops slash Fanatics will incorporate mascots into a different product since opening day is no longer. Speaking of opening day, here's a 20, uh, two, sorry, 2001 Derek Jeter um, from a recent video. Again, I'm trying to get nine cards from every set ever made. Uh, so do, to do a, a page per per set, and I think I still need a few from 2001 opening day. So nice to add that Jeter. Um, a Goldschmidt from a recent Bowman release. I probably have it. I'm, I probably picked it up at the last show from this the same dealer, but um, I have a hard time passing up on anything Goldie at 10 cents. Bryce Harper from Panini Pinnacle. Uh, this is, I think, from Chronicles. Yeah, so it's one of the various brands within that, or I don't even know if they're brands. It's really just a card design. It's a unique set for sure, uh, the Panini Chronicles. Uh, I picked this one up just because the rookie card logo is so big um <laughs> just way bigger than uh 
about what we have today. So you can see you know, the difference between that. Anyways, uh, Jer Jeremy Hellickson, first Bowman Chrome. These were sweet. Two Andrew McCutcheon ticket to stardom rookie cards. He's wearing one of the retro jerseys for the Pirates. Um, I'll put these up here. Manny Ramirez, his tops rookie. Sammy Sosa, 90 upper deck. This will go in my Sammy Sosa rookie card binder. Yes, I do have a bi an entire binder dedicated to... Sammy Sosa rookie cards. Um, anyways, all right, more starting lineup. So in the previous video, I had a couple of starting lineup cards. Here we get Daryl Strawberry and Ricky Henderson. Love, love, love these uh, starting lineup cards. A Barry Bonds. I wasn't sure if I had this one or not. I have a little, of course I do, a mini collection where you got kids on cards. Um, so I figured even if I already had it for my 762 unique Bonds cards collection, um, it would fit with that mini collection. All right. Um, this is some, I, I wish I knew, I think this is a hostess, um, Card. And if I'm wrong, I apologize, but I'm pretty sure these were the hostess. It doesn't, you know, specify necessarily on the front or the back, but I think these are the ones that came in the three panel thing on boxes of Twinkies and things like that. Um, but pick that up. A bum gardener from Mosaic. I think it's a prism. Yep. This is Dan Wilson, a top stadium club, the gold foil. We'll see if I need it. I, uh, that's my name, so I got to collect Dan Wilson, right? This one, I, uh, I happened, <laughs> I dropped the card while I was looking at it. It's the one card I dropped as I looked through literally thousands of cards. And, um, I always feel bad when I drop something like that. And so I said, you know what? I dropped, I've dropped it. I'll buy it. Um, I'll put it in my my 2000s insert binder. Um, a tops, I think again, triple threads. I could be wrong. I don't buy the product, but you know you can see it's one of those really thick. I think it's tops triple threads. Um, yeah, it says triple take on the back, so I know they always do like plays on that the triple anyways uh again trying for nine cards from every set ever made so yeah when i find these high-end cards for a dime i'm gonna pick them up uh <clears throat> this goes with a few cards from over here um again just some more some recent um tops heritage gunner henderson rookies i drives me nuts that on an insert they're going to put a rookie card logo but whatever um adley Ruch rutschman so this is awesome i uh i need like maybe like eight cards for this set there was a a bunch i don't know if I, a bunch is the right word but it looked like they had gotten probably a partial set or something and then they broke it out by team so if i had went through all of the different team boxes i might have found it but um, i was going through a dodgers one and this was one that i needed so that's cool number 258 um this one i got for my awards binder so cards featuring awards you got steve garvey winning the uh mlb all-star game mvp in 74 <clears throat> A Tommy Lasorda, again, I think it's triple threads. A couple of uh, Dodgers World Series 
cards from Heritage, a Sandy Koufax. Uh, these are cool looking inserts. Uh, they're from Tops. Uh, I can't read it, but like 2011 Tops, maybe. Um, I started by going through the D backs binder, or not binder, but box. It's a Robbie Hammock rookie out of 1500. Um, a Tyler Gilbert rookie card. So this is um, cool because on the back it mentions uh, Tyler became the first pitcher to throw a no hitter in his first career start in roughly 70 years. Um, so again, I was at that game with my youngest son. And so I'm collecting any Tyler Gilbert cards that make mention of that no hitter. Uh, 2002 Topps Chrome, Luis Gonzalez, just an early kind of Topps Chrome card. We'll see if I need it for my D-backs team collection. Tim Salmon, I collect Salmon. I uh, went to the same high school that I did. Uh, just a, a cool card. You've got Bonds and Sosa, Bagwell, Vladimir Guerrero, and uh, Richard Hidalgo. So, I mean... Do you remember Richard Hidalgo? He hit 44 home runs in 2000. It's crazy. Um, another Zach Gallen. Uh, oh, I'm seeing the corner on this thing, and it's mangled. And that's, you know, when you're looking through dime boxes and stuff like that, every card is not going to be in great shape necessarily. So that's just kind of a something that you deal with couple of Dale Murphy cards. These are cool. I, you know, I know I don't have them in my Murphy binder, so they'll go in that one. We're almost done here. This Jim Abbott Gypsy Queen no hitter insert. Um, a couple of these Golden Moment cards from uh, Opening Day twenty or two thousand one. So again, hopefully that'll finish off my page for two thousand one Opening Day. Um, this was just, I mean, I lived through it. I lived through this time period, so I know that these are out there, but you know, it wasn't something that I was buying at the time. At the time I was buying packs of tops and upper deck and Donruss and Fleer and score and Bowman stuff like that. But, uh, you know, these were like probably like. Um, home shopping network type stuff, I would, is my guess, right? Um, but, you know, it has a certificate of authenticity card that comes with it. It's a Cliff Lloyd, who was a, a big prospect back in the, in the day. Um, 24 karat gold signature of Cliff Lloyd. It's number 482 of 500. Again, stuff like this, it's a, it's a part of the hobby's history. Um, and so I think it's fun to pick stuff up like that, especially for a dime. A Paul Goldschmidt, Stars of MLB, sweet looking card. Um, a Jose Ramirez card, collect him. Um, this has got two guys that I actively collect in Piazza and Griffey. So that means I would need one card for each of their binders. So maybe I have it for one, but not for the other. But it's also the, this down here, it it says Chase Program. So it, it's, it's the Chase Program checklist, which just means it's the inserts. It's five of five. Anyway, I wasn't sure if I had it or not. But again, I would need two copies because I collect both of them. Uh, this is a Sport Flix, but it's an artist proof. So I thought that was unique. Uh, this is a, a Pinnacle artist proof of Todd Van Poppel, 95 Pinnacle. And then last but not least is a 92 OPG Sparky Anderson. So I picked it up because, again, I don't come across the OPG stuff all that often. And uh, I'm trying to get, you guessed it, nine of them. All right. Thanks for watching. I know these videos are longer than I wanted. 
but I hope you're enjoying seeing what I picked up at the dugout, a new card shop that I had an opportunity to go to in Prescott, Arizona. One more video left. We still have this pile to go through. All right. Thanks. Bye.